is greater than your IQ. Your EQ is your emotional intelligence quotient, um, and your IQ is your intelligence quotient. And what the research says is that we are much more likely to live success, more successful and happier lives with a higher EQ. So EQ is really greater than IQ in predicting that. One of the biggest things that impacts our emotional intelligence quotient is our ability to understand our emotions and understand why we're feeling what we're feeling and be able to manage them a little bit, especially around emotional hijacking. Now, emotional hijacking has three big parts. One, you can become emotionally hijacked. Two, what do you do when you become emotionally hijacked? And then three, how do you prevent yourself from becoming hijacked? I like to use a hand metaphor for understanding emotional hijacking. So if you'll take your thumb and put it in your palm like this and then fold your fingers over like this, this kind of makes a little metaphor for your brain. And this part is your brain stem or your um, automatic pilot, your survival brain. This part right here, this is your limbic system where you feel strong emotions like anger, sadness, excitement, and fear. And this part right here is your neocortex where you can do rational, logical, analytical thought. And that's the metaphor. So please do it with me. Raise your right hand and now put your thumb in your palm like this. And now fold your fingers over your thumb like this. Now, you don't have to say this out loud, but I'd like you to either mouth the words or think about these words as I do them. So point to your thumb and in your mind say, when I feel strong emotions and I don't manage them, I flip my lid. Okay, you guys can all put your hands down, but this is emotional hijacking. And it is in this emotionally hijacked state that we can't think clearly or rationally, and we often make the biggest mistakes of our lives when we're in this emotionally hijacked state. This is really problematic, and we need to understand that no matter who you are, you can become hijacked. Well, wait a minute, Coach Rudy, you teach this every day. You can't become hijacked. Yes, I can. I still become emotionally hijacked. Everybody, no matter who you are, even if you practice these skills regularly, you can become hijacked. And the second thing I want you to understand about is this state is not permanent. You're probably not going to feel this way in 10 days or in 10 hours or maybe even in 10 minutes. But in this emotional state, you can't think clearly. And so what's really important is when you are emotionally hijacked to stop and don't make permanent decisions based on an impermanent emotional state. Pause in that moment and make sure that you are getting a little bit calmer where you can access your thinking brain before you make big decisions or really impact your relationships. The third big part about this is how do I prevent myself from becoming hijacked? And so I like to teach something called traffic lights here. So the traffic light works like this. I'm driving down the road, I'm driving down the road, the traffic light is green. This is a green light brain. I'm calm, I can access my thinking brain, I'm in a good place. Now I'm driving down the road, I'm driving down the road, the traffic light is red. This is a red light brain. I'm emotionally hijacked. I've lost control of my emotions and I wanna stop. But in between that green and red, there is yellow, right? So I have green, I have red, I have yellow. And yellow doesn't mean floor it and hope I don't get a ticket. Yellow means caution, slow down, intervene. So when you notice that you're starting to get a little bit upset with some kind of emotion that might affect your behaviors or your relationships, what you wanna do is win in yellow intervene, you always want to keep it green. This strategy can really help.